Uganda. Yay! On our way to Kulungu Lodge, just from um, Kampala. That's the name of the capital. <laughs> That's the goal. So we're just at the Uganda equator. Um, unfortunately, it's a little bit, a little bit wet. We're in the middle of rainy season. Or are we at the start of rainy season? <laughs> it's a little bit wet. We're at the start of rainy season. It's a little bit wet. We're at the end of rainy season. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Just arrived in Kanungu. It's very, very exciting. Eh, eh, eh. Yes, how are you? Hello. Hello, 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 Jay. You are welcome. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Hi. I'm very excited going back home. I suppose it was home for two years, so going back home. It's very exciting. I feel like I've never been away. It's really nice. I feel like I've just popped into town. And now we're going back home, so it's nice, nice feeling. So the first part of our trip to Uganda is to visit Volunteer Uganda Lodge, uh, which is in Windy, uh, in a place called Kamungu. Uh, and Will and I spent a year there working on volunteer projects in schools uh, and within the community. So the first part of our trip is, is just to, to visit old friends and to see some of the schools that we used to work in and uh, just generally catch up with everything that's going on in Kanungu. We're just going to Kadungu Market and we're going to be buying some outfits for the fancy dress um, party at the lodge tonight. No, we've all been given names out of a hat so we've got to buy for different people. What's a Rolex, Jack? I can't remember. <laughs> Will, what's a Rolex? It's a chapati um, with an omelette on top, rolled up. Roll eggs, Rolex, that's where it comes from, and they're really tasty. It's my first one in two years, so I'm very excited. I'm eating barbe barbecued goat, which is delicious. It's so good. They put loads of salt on it, and it's fat. <laughs> it doesn't make it sound very good, but it is really, really good. What do we cleverly call it? Baba Chew, because it's a bit chewy. So it's Baba Chew. I don't want to get bit, bitten by mosquitoes, and they seem to like me. I'm the pig in the room. There's an, uh, an old uh, saying about being a pig in the room if you're in Uganda, which means you get bitten a lot. So in uh, times gone by, people often have a pig in their house, completely true. Um, because the mosquitoes will be attracted to the pig, so therefore they're not going to be bitten themselves. So sometimes I feel like a pig in the room. <laughs> but I look brilliant doing it. <laughs> this is what Harvey got for me. Uh, these handy socks on my hands, which are going to be very useful. Um, the shirt was actually probably will keep, it's actually quite nice. Um, shorts, which are a bit too big for, <laughs> to be honest. And uh, wherever this is, <laughs> which I'm on, I was around my head. As I rolled out of bed this morning, um, a mouse uh, fell out with me and landed on the floor. I think I must have rolled over and killed it in my sleep. <laughs> Little guy, didn't stand a chance with Jack. We're walking uh, to Kazuru Primary School, one of the most rural schools that volunteer Uganda work with. Um, for us it's a bit of an arduous walk, it's a lovely walk, but it's quite tiring, it's very up and down. But for the, uh, for the children who are following us it's very easy, and for a lot of the children who go to school here, the walks are much, much longer than what we're doing. What we're doing is probably about 20 minutes, half an hour. Some children will come up, it's two hours to go to school. It reminds us how lucky we are at home, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> this little piggy went to market. 
This little piggy went home, and the other one was eaten. <laughs> There's a class of P3s that have just finished their work, so we're going to go in and play a few games with them. Great well done. It's four meters. What's shape? It's lovely to be back in the classroom. Yeah. Um, obviously, the language is a bit of a barrier, but it's nice to uh, have another go at it. And I think we've, uh, I think we got across the idea of perimeter. I think by the end, um, there's some learning and understanding going on there, so it's nice. I think they've made some. I would say. Good progress. Good progress, yeah. Good progress. Take that off, Stead. <laughs> we found a chameleon, which is completely harmless, but the children here at Standard Academy are all in the strong belief that they're completely poisonous. So I know what reaction I'm going to get when we go and show the kids, but <coughs> I'm going to show you on camera because it's hilarious. Uh, we're here at Gorilla Summit Coffee and we're about to have a tour of the um, plantation, see the whole process of how the coffee is made here um, and then hopefully get some samples at the end. So we're picking the Arabica no, coffee, the Arabic coffee. Um, and, and then we're going to take it for processing and later on at the factory. So they've cleared, cleaned off the red cherry part, the parchment, and now you can see almost what you'd see from the full bean but then that this bean now needs to be dried in the sun and then they take it for roasting <laughs> well what have we got um we've got some goat Matoki, hosho, beans, ginger sauce, and rice. It's all very, very tasty. Well, one of the very best things about coming to the lodge has got to be the campfire under the stars with a beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always sad leaving the lodge and saying goodbye to all the staff, but we've had such an amazing few days. And we're really lucky that we now get to go to the beautiful Lake Bignoni and gorilla trekking. So yeah, we'll see you at Lake Bignoni.